suppose we have a molecule of hexane now what will this be called n hexane now can you draw the structure of isohexane You have to take the end carbon and shift it to, you have to start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the end carbon you take and shift it to carbon number 2. So, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the 6 is shifted to 2. So this is the structure for isohexane. So be careful about this shifting to 2. I mean you can shift to 5 as well. I mean not 5 sorry. You can shift to 4 as well because they will generate the same structures. So, you have to be careful whether they are generating the same structures. If you are asked to draw all the isomers, then you should be careful whether you are drawing an isomer or you are drawing the same structure. So, this is isohexane and this is also isohexane. because you flip this and this becomes 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 becomes 1 2 3 4 5 and on 2 we have this so this and this are the same now if you have neohexane or let's not go into neohexane because hexane will have more isomers than n iso neo something like that i mean as we as the carbon chain grows longer and longer you get more and more structural isomers of the carbon chain i mean a carbon chain of 10 can have many many around about 50 to 50 isomers So let's not go into all those. What you need is just N, ISO and NU. And you will be mostly asked butane and pentane. You see that propane cannot have any structural isomers, neither can ethane and methane of course cannot have. Because in propane, you shift this to this and it remains same because it's already bonded to this shift this to this it's again in straight chain in ethane also it's the same and in methane you have only one carbon you have no carbon to shift to so isomerism structural isomers for alkanes generally starts from not generally actually starts from butane now as I was telling, there are more forms of isomerism. So, we know now about structural isomerism, which is same molecular formula different structures in space. Now, we have seen about rings.
Now in rings, this has two hydrogen each. So it's two into one, two, three, four, five, six. It is twelve hydrogen and six carbon. Now do you find this formula similar to some compound? This is cyclohexane which has this formula C6H12. Now C6H12 if you remember it's in the form CNH2N see N is 6 2N is 12 and what's CNH2N? It represents alkenes. So, in this cyclohexane has shares a common formula with alkene, and which alkene? This is this is an alkene. And it's C6, so it's hexene. So this cyclohexane and hexene have a same formula but different structures. So doesn't that fit into the definition of isomerism? Hexene and cyclohexane are isomers. But they are not structural isomers. In structural isomers, we need a modification. The definition, it's that they have the same molecular formula but different structures in space. But structural isomers are concerned only with straight chain and their branches. They are not concerned with this ring. This ring is not structural isomers. This isomerism. So, structural isomers are concerned only with chains and branches but not rings. Because you see, if you take rings into structural isomers, you'll get isomers like cyclohexane, which is an alkane, cycloalkane, and hexene, which is an alkene. So, and in structural isomers, you always had butane common. You did not change from butane to butene or pentane to pentene. But here, this cyclohexane changes to hexene. So, this is not included in structural isomerism. 